So, I've been pretty frustrated for quite a while since everybody is using dry ice for all sorts of experiments on YouTube and I have not found a reliable source of dry ice. Since in Germany you can't buy dry ice just at the local hardware store or a gas station. Um, what you can do is you can produce your own dry ice snow with a CO2 fire extinguisher or any other source of liquid CO2 by just blowing it into a cotton bag or something. But it has a very low density and it floats on water. So it just doesn't have the same mechanical properties as rock hard, dense, dry ice. So that's why I try to make a machine that compresses this dry ice snow and hopefully will make it as dense and have the same properties as the commercial products. Since I've been playing around with uh, CO2 for quite a while, um, I have a, quite of a uh, quite an overkill setup here already in place. Um, this is my uh, siphon siphon tube uh, liquid CO2 bottle, and I have a pretty overkill filtering system on it. There's actually three stages of filtering, and then uh, just recently I added a fourth one, which is uh, this here. You can uh, unscrew it and actually it collects quite quite a lot of um, debris from the liquid CO2 that you get from the hardware store. Um, yeah, since I'm, I'm using it to refill uh, refill these um, CO2 bottles here for uh, making sparkling water in your house. Um, yeah, that's, that's quite popular in Germany, so um, I wanted the CO2 to be as clean as possible if I refill this to make drinkable water. So, uh, liquid CO2 comes out of this siphon, siphon uh, bottle and then goes down here and it expands into this, this chamber here. Um, there's nothing to it really, you don't need to add anything uh, like a valve or something, just uh, controlled here by this hand valve, it'll expand automatically and it'll form loose dry snow which is very light and it actually floats on top of water and that's why um, I want, want to compact it with this machine here. Um, this is just a plunger made out of wood. Um, yeah, put this together in one evening. Um, the box seems a bit weak. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold the four tons of pressure this little machine uh, puts out. But if it needs modifying, uh, it's just made out of wood. Can be easily done. So let's give it a try. First, close the box. So this is how far it can go. If you want to fill the box completely, you leave this plunger all the way out. And if you want just a partial fill, which I think I'm gonna do for now, just place this ruler in between here so it doesn't get pushed out. And then, um, yeah, just open the CO2 valve. kind of hard to tell when it's actually full with snow, so I'm just doing this by gut feeling. Just hope it doesn't explode on me. Doesn't blow up on me. Here we go. Okay, so I shut the valve off. Seems uh, enough. Okay, then just take this ruler out and, well, I can have a look inside. It's uh, probably just going to be a block of dry ice, yeah. So you can see it's just hollow on the inside and it's just snow. It's dry as snow, it's very light. I'll actually take a chunk here. So it just floats in water and that's not what I want. So I want to increase the density and yeah, then I'm gonna close the box back, back down, close it up and then so, and now 
it compacted the snow all the way down to this flat piece of dry ice. Let's see how solid that is. <laughs> So here it is, one big chunk of a few chunks. There's some more. I broke apart while trying to um, get it out there. But it's nice how it um, the surface looks a bit different than the snow. Um, it changes its, its way how it scatters the light. So um, it's another indication that it becomes this block of dry ice rather than the snow. So. Let's give it a try if it sinks. Let's see if this is in focus. Here we go. And it does. Works as advertised. It's probably about 50 grams. It starts to float when it gets um, smaller and smaller because the uh, bubbles coming off actually lift it off the ground. But just from a density perspective, it's heavy enough to sink and form a lot of bubbles. And that's how you make dry ice at home. think one of these screws is gonna give at some point this hinge here already is completely destroyed this should be the biggest block I've ever made so far oh boy what happened with this one I think it didn't have that much dries in it okay here we go hmm feels okay Breaks in pieces. This one's making funny noises. Also, fun thing about CO2. Makes a lot of different noises depending on where you put it against. Davon. <lacht> Boah, das hört einfach nicht auf. <lacht> das ist abgekühlt. Oh, schön kalt, ja. Ich muss ein Loch produzieren. 